I will be visiting every Monopoly property in real life. Monopoly first came out in 1935 and has become one of the most popular board games of all time. Basically, you go around the board trying to make money and buy properties. But something most people don't know is every property in the board game is based on real life places in Atlantic City, New Jersey. From Virginia Avenue to St. Charles Place and even the boardwalk are all located right here. Atlantic City during this time was at its peak with it being nicknamed the vacation capital of the nation and built the first ever boardwalk in 1870 so if you were spending any time at the shore it would be here although it may be past its prime now it's still a very popular vacation spot and where monopoly got all of its property names so i thought it'd be interesting to visit these places outside of the board game and in real life we got 28 to look at so let's get going and hopefully not get sent to jail let's start with the first two properties in the game that are purple but was later changed into brown the first one right behind me is mediterranean avenue it's the cheapest this one in the game if you want to see where this street is on a map it's right here in the middle of atlantic city with a bunch of houses on it and then right behind me you have baltic avenue this road sits right under mediterranean avenue and doesn't have much on it as well now we make our way over to the blue properties with the first one being oriental avenue these properties are actually the most common places to land on when you first roll the dice to play the game so if you land on one of these i would definitely recommend buying them but as for the street itself it's pretty small with the only thing on it being a casino casino other than houses of course next to that is vermont avenue and on the street you'll find the absecan lighthouse which we actually climbed in a video we toured the whole thing it was great so you can check that out but that's the major thing to see on this street this street is closest to the water which would make sense knowing that there's a lighthouse on it but don't try sneaking into it or you'll get caught like this guy and finally we have the last of the blue properties connecticut avenue something i noticed was each section of colors on the board game meant that the real life streets were fairly close to each other with connecticut avenue being no exception the only thing worthwhile on this street is that it leads you right to a casino it wouldn't be atlantic city if it didn't have them everywhere now we're approaching the light purple properties i guess i can see why they changed it into brown in the later versions because the two colors are very similar but if you want to see something even more confusing on the original 1935 release of monopoly these three properties all have very similar colors especially these two maybe some people can clearly see the difference but i just see purple i guess they look different enough enough but it just makes it easier when they're completely different like the colors now are newer releases but as for the first place st charles it no longer exists that's right a casino named showboat built right over the road in 1987 but closed in 2014 just for it to reopen two years later as a hotel next right behind me is states avenue where only a little piece of it is left and it would be that section over there the rest of the road was covered by a parking lot for the showboat casino making it no longer possible to drive on it and finally the last in the light purple properties is Virginia Avenue. This street runs through all of Atlantic City and used to lead you right to the Trump Taj Mahal, but later was changed into the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel. But don't try stealing money from it or you'll get sent to jail like this guy again. Now we're entering into the orange properties, which is actually the most landed on properties in the game, with the first one being St. James Place. And on the street, you'll find the Irish pub. And what makes this interesting is the hotel in the game is based off of this place. At least this is what I saw on their website. They claim that the hotel pieces in the Monopoly game are designed after the original location of this Irish pub. So I'll take their word for it. Because if someone lied, they might end up like this guy. <laughs> Now, I actually was planning on spending the night at this pub because they have hotel rooms there, but it ended up not working out, so I couldn't do that. But the inside looked pretty interesting with all the history this place has. This basically inspired the entire video when I found out this pub was based off of the hotel in Monopoly. I figured if I was going to stay at this place, I might as well visit every property. Next, in the orange properties, we have Tennessee Avenue. A lot of these properties, as you go on, start to be closer together. Each street is right next to each other. And the final one is New York Avenue which I don't really have anything else to say, so I'll just give you this fun fact. Did you know the Monopoly man's name is actually Milburn Pennybags? I had no idea that was his name, but there you go. If you ever wanted to know that, now you know. And on the topic of fun facts, the Monopoly man does not have a monocle. This is always one of the most famous Mandela effects out there. That basically means when a large amount of people remember one thing, but it turns out to be another. People say they know for sure he had one in Monopoly, but when you go back to all the different versions of the games he never did i will agree however that it would make sense for him to have one but he doesn't now we make our way to the red properties starting with kentucky avenue 
Come back here. Hold on, what did he even do? He stole Karana Burger merch. Oh, are you talking about the new Karana Burger merch that you can buy right now by clicking the link in the description? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Make sure to buy it today. And now let's see the red properties. First one is Kentucky Avenue. Kentucky Avenue is a long street that runs through all of Atlantic City, but that doesn't mean there's much on it. The second red property is Indiana Avenue, which still exists. This road is also pretty long, but the most interesting of these three places would be the last one. The final one for the red properties is Illinois Avenue, which was later changed into Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. So the road is still here today, but has a new name. However, in the board game itself, the name was never changed even though they switched the name of the road over 30 years ago monopoly likes to keep the board games closest to its original design right of the street behind me is the first of the yellow properties and this is atlantic avenue this is by far the busiest street in the city and is actually the longest spanning across the entire island horizontally the next of the yellow properties is vetner avenue which is this whole road here and actually goes all the way up to atlantic avenue if you look at this intersection you can see the two roads connect with one another you have vetner avenue on the left and atlantic avenue on the right and for the last of the yellow properties is marvin gardens this neighborhood sits in the city of margate but a fun fact about this city is that it used to be called south atlantic city until its name was changed in 1909 but a name that was never changed is marvin gardens on the monopoly board game in real life marvin gardens is spelled with an e but in the board game it has an i instead charles darrow the man credited for creating the monopoly board game even though it was technically created by lizzie maggie that's a story for a different day but he's the one that misspelled Marvin and it stayed the same ever since. They never corrected the spelling. Along this entire street is Pacific Avenue, the first of the green properties. This road sits right between Atlantic Avenue and the boardwalk, so you'll find many shops and casinos here. The next green is North Carolina Avenue, which is this entire street right here. This street is almost right in the middle of the city. Right next to North Carolina Avenue is Pennsylvania Avenue. These streets are just right next to each other. Pennsylvania starts down there and goes all the way up. And now we're going to be visiting the last two properties of the entire game which are the blue properties the first one is park place and the road is right behind me it was named park place because of the park that used to be here but was eventually built over for a casino how great this guy thought he could hide in the casino but got caught instead but now after visiting all these locations we're on the final one of the whole board game and that would be the boardwalk i can't think of a better spot to end this video so make sure to subscribe and buy the merch oh what the I guess he likes the merch. And if you really want to see these properties, here you go. We got the railroads, electric, waterworks, and I'll even throw in free parking, being sent to jail, and jail itself. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe.